What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. Welcome to Mexico, y'all. If you don't follow along and this is the first video of mine that you've watched, you need to go back and watch my most recent video. I show you in that video how I get where I am right now. Check out that morning view. We got us a beautiful pool, this huge lake. It's Lake Guerrero. And we're with El Dorado Outfitters here in Mexico going on our first ever wing shoot. I've never hunted birds anywhere out of the United States. Today, this morning, we're going to shoot Dev. But like normal, we're waiting on a woman. Not true. Did you sleep good last night? Mm -hmm. Did you sleep good? God, I slept like a million bucks. This room is so nice. They got a little, I guess what you call living room, bathroom, bedroom. But just wait till you see downstairs. I know they got us a spread. We told them we didn't want breakfast. We just wanted some fruit and coffee. And then we'll eat breakfast out in the field. And that's what they said they'll make. Look at this place, it's so pretty. Got all kinds of pretty artwork. Some largemouth bass. These are actually realistic mounts from bass that came from the lake. So the El Dorado also specializes in wild Bob White quail hunts. Completely wild. Almost anywhere you hunt in the United States are gonna be pin birds. Raised, brought in, turned loose, and then hunted. Here they have wild birds. Here's your fruit. They got some papaya, and it looks like probably mango and fresh squeezed lemonade. And coffee. You got coffee? Coffee. Jose just said we were getting close. Just figured I'd show y'all some of this little village right here. Golly, that's a beautiful Royal Poinciana. Burning their leaves. We need to get back to doing that, babe. We need to wash our clothes by hand and hang them up. <laughs> I figured you were going to say that. We just planted one of these right here. No, that tree before was a bougainvillea. That's a royal poinciana. My bad, folks. Oh, look at right here. Luke would be out chasing my eight-year-old. He'd get out and chase these chickens to try to catch one. A lot of pretty flowers. That one's like a light pink color. Lots of orange trees in this area. Yeah, there's another bougainvillea. That first tree I said was Royal Point Sienna, it was a bougainvillea. And there's another one right there. And let's talk about the speed bumps in Mexico. <laughs> I think this is where speed bumps were invented. Here's the little school. Ain't very many kids. Oh yeah, today's Saturday. That's why there's no kids in the school. So Jose has scouters all over this area. Would you say like 100 square miles? Yeah. At least 100 square miles and they're constantly looking for the you know most dense population of doves. So where we're going this morning, he called one of the scouters last night and said, you know, where should we go? He pointed us in this direction. But the cool part is Jose and Mr. Paul Anderson actually are gonna shoot with us today. They don't normally shoot, they're normally always working, but we're here and they're gonna relax and unwind a little bit. Look at the big old, we have that kind of dove at home, the ringneck dove. Man, there's dove flying everywhere. So we're hunting a feedlot, a cattle feedlot. If you know anything about them, you know doves like them because of the grain that they feed the cow is full of all kinds of stuff that the dove like to eat. How cool is this? We're dove hunting in a Mexican feedlot. I guess it's not a Mexican feedlot. It's a feedlot in Mexico. That was, that was. Bang! There you go. Bang! We got two for two. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Three. Get him. Right here? Yeah, get him. Oh, 
Oh, she got that one. You got that one. There you go, Crystal. <laughs> Got him! Hey, Crystal. Birds everywhere. It's oh, good oh, shot. God. It's been a long time since I've shot a 12 gauge. There you go. There you go. Oh, you got him. Oh, I didn't, that joker. He dodged a bullet. Good job, Gabe. Oh. Behind it. There's more coming. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> we slowed him down. Mom! He's got you. He's right here. You got him, baby. He's in your level now. Got him that second shot. Dang, we got a pile already. Yeah, there's more coming. In front, Crystal. That joker right there just ducked and weaved. Oh, uh, that was too, you were too ready. No, no, no. Oh, I was about to say, if one of y'all didn't kill that bird. <laughs> I'm glad you weren't looking. Got him. These Berettas shoot so nice. I mean, you guys look at the guns they have here. Like they don't just show up with some junk. No. <laughs> they have the nicest guns you can get. There you go, another one. Oh! oh got it. You guys. I love when you throw up on a dove and he dies before your barrel gets to him. Yeah. Babe, are you aiming at him? Yeah. It's like a baseball bat. You don't aim a baseball bat. <laughs> Right here, coming in hot, right over our heads. Oh, I shot so bad behind that bird. That was ridiculous. I couldn't run him down. I ain't sure who hit that one, but somebody did. We shot simultaneously. There you go. You tried to snake my bird. That's a good flock right there. I got that joker. Oh, he just, he just flew into the wall right next to that guy's head. <laughs> that bird just went whop and flew dead into that wall. Oh, good shot. Good. Thank you. Big strong bird. Crystal's struggling to get used to somebody else doing something for her. like. I need to go get that bird, I feel like. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Oh. Nice. Nice. Keep a low of vision. Yeah. We wouldn't get this much action all day back home. Yeah, I mean, at home in the States, yeah, you can have some good dove shoots. But the laws and all the bull crap with the DNR and the game wardens and eh, did they put bait on the field? Did they do this? Are you going to get a ticket for this? Come to Mexico. Have a time of your life. Eat some good breakfast tacos and shoot doves. Like, as soon as we get done shooting doves, we're going to go back and get in the pool. And if we want to go bass fishing, we can go bass fishing. It's just that easy. There you go. There you go. Good. Bunk. Oh! <laughs> I don't have near enough bullets in my gun for this. Oh! I got that one. That was insane. Oh! Oh! 
Got him. Got him. What? Oh, He's in the tree. I'm waiting for him to just knock me in the back of the head. <laughs> you guys, we're about 45 minutes in, and I can honestly say by far, this is the craziest dove shooting I've ever seen. It's absolutely nuts. Oh! But one thing you can't let is Jose get between you and the birds, because he will kill them. I love that the owners are out here shooting with us. I wouldn't have it. Here's any a other bunch way. coming up the pipe. Right up here. Oh, right here. Oh, nice. Almost got a double. Wow. Nice. 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 Stoned it. Nice. <laughs> I get to shoot and, and there's so many birds I can only get one bullet in at a time. <laughs> that was hard to film because there was so much going on. That's wow. What I'm talking about. That's why you come to Mexico with El Dorado. One right in the right head here, of you. Right if I miss this bird, something's really wrong. Nice. Good shot. You gotta imagine this many birds. You know, if they only eat a handful of seed a day when there's thousands and thousands of birds are really doing a bad damage to this farmer's. Right here. Right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a Tweety bird. Yeah. They can really do a big damage on the guy's profit when it comes to his cattle because they're eating so much of the cow's feed. I knocked the feathers off of him. He's dead. Strong bird, though. Strong bird. Probably got a euro. I got my euro. Let me see. That's what you call it. Right? Oh yeah, we have these in Florida too, but they typically stay around like feedlots like this. You don't get them out like on normal dove fields. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Dang, we should have this morning. Get him, Jose. How did two pro shooters just let five birds come in and five birds leave? I saw fathers with feathers dropping. Yes. You guys, we're already making piles this morning. Piles. It's just 20 minutes of shooting. So. <laughs> That's just, we have been here what, like 20, 30 Not minutes? Not even. I know what I've been here long enough to do and that's to eat my other taco. <laughs> what? Good shot. They can keep shooting doves. I'm eating one of these tacos. Mm. They bring all your bullets, your guns, coolers with drinks, tacos, food. They have nice trucks to bring you here. I'm giving this place a five star. <laughs> I don't even have words for that one. Can we get a little midday update? Actually, it's only been like 30 minutes. Can we it's get a 30 like minute update? 30 minutes and we got a pile of dove. Can we talk? No thanks to me, but we got a pile of dove. <laughs> right there, right there. Right <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you need to come down here and do this is a passport. You do need a passport to get into Mexico. Other than that, just some hard earned cash. They do take credit cards, y'all can be here. Every one of y'all watching this can save up or you might already have the money to do it. You can come What's here up? and do exactly what we're doing. Oh, I'll tell y'all what the most impressive thing about Mr. Paul Anderson that he's done for me thus far. He asked me what I like to drink and I'm like, well, I, I drink Mountain Dew. So when he came to the airport to pick us up, before he picked us up in the States, cause they don't sell Mountain Dew down here in Mexico, he bought me a 12 pack of Mountain Dew, so I had them while I was down here. That's the kind of service you can expect with El Dorado. You guys, he's used to doing all the work. You shoot for me. In front of 800,000 subscribers, Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, this guy always has the biggest smile on his face. It's so big, bud. He has the biggest smile on his face all day, so I'm making him shoot. Ah! His second <laughs> shot! That's what I'm talking about. Hello. Yeah. Right there, right there in front of you. Oh, his third yeah. shot. That's what I'm... <laughs> Yes. Oh, God. 
Y'all, when you hear that growl, you know it's been bad. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Uh, that's good stuff. <laughs> Just the type of person I am, I can't, I can't have, however you want to call them, the helpers, the bird guys, do all the work. I got to let them have some fun too. I grew up everybody participating. I just can't watch somebody work for me the whole time and not let them have some fun. It's just not in my vocabulary. Here, maybe this will help you. This is the key. You haven't had one yet. Some do. Do the do. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No. Again, again. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Why did you put me next to him? <laughs> He plays cleanup. I'm gonna try to shoot your gun. Yeah. We'll shoot it. Yeah. Ooh, too close. Oh, nice got him! One nice. hand, one-handed filming. Right here, right here. Oh, oh nope. I talked too soon. Shoot. <laughs> okay. That was a pose. I love doing this. So he thought he was loading this gun for me. I have him shooting. <laughs> I noticed him and Ricky are left-handed. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, both of them. Uh oh, Ricky's more better. Ricky is more better. <laughs> he, he's trying to choose his shot wisely. Hey, tell him, tell him Ricky shot four times and killed two. Ricky tiró cuatro veces y mató dos. Yeah. You got two more, you better go two for two. Oh. I'm dropping feathers. <laughs> that bird right there has nine lives. That is a tough bird. He took a lot of pellets. Yeah! Yeah! No, uh, uno mas! Oh. Yeah, one more. Nice! I'll go get the bird. You go get him, babe. Roll reverse. He's not going to know what to think now. So he's been getting our birds all morning. Now Crystal's going to go get his bird. There you go. That's a double. That was a beautiful double. Yeah. There you go! You ran Ricky down! That's, that's my brain. Hey! Good job. <laughs> Baby's got one more. He he killed the same amount as Ricky. Nice. Yeah, look at this pile of birds. And the coolest thing about this is every one of them will be consumed by that camp. All the guys that are here working. That's a good mess of them. A couple little towns around us get fed. Then the boys take them home. What we don't use for appetizers. Uh, goes to the villages, basically. Yeah, so El Dorado themselves... Not only do they help these farms out, but they provide work for the local guys. They put a ton of money back into the economy. They feed the economy because not only do they shoot thousands of ducks a year, but they also, or doves a year, but they also shoot tons of ducks and tons of quail. So they're offering year round work for a bunch of these local guys around here. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Good shot, Crystal. She all she's figuring it out now. Look at how many birds there are. They just keep coming. Oh man. Oh man. That one didn't make it. Neither did that one. Neither did that one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Babe, you, you slowed him down, but they dusted him. So I decided to take a break from shooting, and I'm going to walk over here and show you guys this feedlot. So these cows, just like in America, they take the yearlings off, or they take cows that are in pastures with not much food, and they bring them here, and they pour the feed to them. You can hear that noise over there. They're actually pumping feed into their silo, which they then bring and put down here they fatten the cows up and then they take them to slaughter so that's why they call it a feedlot it doesn't look like the most humane thing in the world but 
if you're gonna eat meat, this is the reality of it. Just getting back to the lodge and I'll show you what it looks like from the ride in. A big, beautiful lake. Tell me this isn't a little oasis. Beautiful pool. Check her out. Look what she's got in her hands though. This is what you can expect every time you come back to camp. Hola. Did you think our first dove hunt ever in our relationship would end with margaritas in a pool? No, but I'm not mad at that. And a 400 dove shootout. Thank you so much. I don't even think we told them what the final count was. Oh, oops. 400. Almost, probably right at 400 or over 400. Oh yeah, he saw that. And we were goofing off. More or less. If we would have been serious shooting, and that's what I wanted to talk about. So, you hear these places down south that shoot, you know, 1,200 birds a shoot. That is fine, but no ecosystem can handle that many birds consistently. Today, if me, Jose, Paul, and Crystal would have spread out a little bit and been focused and would have put the cameras down, we easily could have shot two or 300 birds. That didn't mean we wanted to. We had an absolute blast shooting what we shot, but you could have melted the barrel on any one of those guns. That was by far the best shoot I've ever seen, ever. Cannonball! <laughs> this pool is the most perfect temperature ever. Look at that huge, beautiful lake out there though. I will say that lake has stumped me the last couple times I've been here, but I'm not used to fishing like this. Deep water, big standing timber but I'm gonna figure it out. There's 13 to 15 pound bass in that lake and lots of them. I mean, where else can you go shoot dove in the morning for two hours and come get in the pool? <laughs> Look at the huge one eye too. Crystal often makes fun of me cause I'm getting a little bit older and I got some sore joints here and there. But if you notice here recently, she's had a stiff neck. What happened, babe? Nothing, <laughs> it just started hurting. <laughs> one of those dove dodged and weaved a little bit too hard. Yeah, I think I like, tweaked my neck a little bit when we were dove hunting. You pulled a it rib? It hurts bad. You know what's crazy, babe? As much as we shot this morning, we gotta go do it again in two hours. My arm's not really that red. Is yours? <laughs> Let me no, get the we sun. gotta get it really nice and rosy. We gotta Those go guns were smooth shooting. Yeah, we gotta go shoot again today. Doggone it, that sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that big oh, moth. Yummy. There's, we saw these moths Thank last night. They're you. everywhere. And to my mom, who I know is watching, there are so many butterflies down here, mom. All right, sorry, I got sidetracked. Nachos. They're nachos, though. They're mine. No. Gracias. No, no. Thank you so much. And this is just a little appetizer, babe. Cheers. Cheers with you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Oh, man, I love the salt. Put the salt on mine. Mm. You guys, I'm going to tell you one more time. A lot of the things that we go and do can potentially be crazy expensive, I'm not gonna lie. But with anything in life, a new truck, a new house, a bicycle, anything that you really want, if you work hard and save for it, you can get it. I mean, it's just called willpower and work havocs. Discipline. If you work hard, discipline, if you work hard, you can save money and get it. This place might seem so extravagant that you can't afford it, but it's very, very affordable. I think it's about, $3,000, $3,500 a piece for three days, you can afford it. I know that's expensive. Trust me, there was a time where I only made four or $500 a week. But the, the way I got to where I'm at now is by busting my butt working. A lot of people think mysteriously YouTubers just make money. But you don't realize I work about 80 to 90 hours a week, give or take, sometimes even more if you calculate traveling because we're working then, we're going to make videos. If you wanna come here, you can afford it. Work your hard, bust your butt, Book a trip, 
everything about this place will be in the link in the description below and i'm going to put their website here once again check it out paul jose they both speak good english this place is safe you can bring your kids the next time we come we're bringing our kids come here you won't regret it here you go babe duration duration hold on I got Oh, yeah. good shot. Babe, how come they always bring you the food first? Because I'm a lady. You guys see this right here? That is a dove appetizer made for kings. That's just the breast meat out of some of the doves that we shot today. We just got back from the second dove hunt. The video you just watched was from this morning. We just filmed an entire another dove hunting video this evening. Combined, I think we shot 700 birds today. Our shoulders are a little bit jellotized. They, they're a little bit sore, but it was well worth it because I've never seen anything like what we saw today. El Dorado Outfitters, you guys, make sure you check them out. That appetizer, that's just the beginning. The full course meal is gonna go down in just a minute, and I'm gonna show you that. But first, let me tell you how you clean a dove. It's super easy. You just grab them, stick your thumb in between their backbone and their breastplate, and pull them apart. Pull the feathers off, Cut out the little bit of breast meat that's there. It's to die for, I promise you. I want this one right here with the jalapeno in it. Have you tried it yet? Nope. Oh man, that looks good. Some of them have jalapeno. Cheers. Mmm, cheers. Y'all. Mmm. They do have jalapeno. Dove meat is so good. Oh dang. Mm-hmm. The food here is amazing. I'm telling you. That's like one thing when I go to a lodge. The food to me is make or break it, and the food here is absolutely stupid good. This morning while we were hunting, they made us breakfast tacos out of Trezo for lunch. We had big crawfish, that, that's in another video. Huge jumbo crawfish that are the best things you'll ever eat. And then for dinner, we had this appetizer of dove. And I don't know what we're having for dinner, but y'all are gonna see because it's coming up next. You guys, this is the first dish for dinner. Now, you know we've already had the appetizer. Babe, taste those beans. You love beans. You oh, like I love beans. beans. That's about to be the best thing ever. Mm. A little bit of cornbread. That's mm -hmm. some good flavor. Yeah, this tastes like redneck food. <laughs> Goodness, I could eat this entire bowl, have me one drink, Gracias. and go to bed. Yeah. You I'm tired. Just... You guys wore us out today. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we do. We've been going since daylight. Before daylight. And it's yeah. well after dark now. Uh oh, here comes Jaime again. Jaime, what am I supposed to do with all this food? <laughs> Make us fat. You gonna help me? Yes, sir. No, no, it's for you. <laughs> You guys, look at that. That's what you've been wanting. Babe, I need you to stand up and show us your dress real quick because I've wanted to show everybody this dress. I'm full too. If you guys are interested in some custom dresses like this, a friend of ours, Christy Grant, owns Sporty Girl, and I'll put her website right here on the screen. She makes all kinds of cool dresses like this, and Crystal absolutely loves that one. Obviously, it looks great on her. She's got some with marlin and tuna and deer and hogs. Check out Sporty Girl, that thing is nice. Yes, they're comfy too. So we got some fajitas, we got guacamole. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks really good. Some peppers, some jalapenos. You guys, we're gonna dig in. Yeah. Thank both of y'all for an amazing trip. We've been here a day and a half and it's already been absolutely amazing. We're going arrowhead hunting tomorrow, some catfishing, maybe some more dove hunting. But our shoulders are spent, you guys. You come to a place like this and you really want to get what you pay for and we're here for three days. I feel I've already got what I paid for in the first day. So I don't care if we sit on that rocking chair and watch the water tomorrow. I'm happy. That's it for this video though. Make sure you watch the series. We got a crawfish video. We got this video and we got another one coming after it. Not sure what it'll be yet, but be on the lookout. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. It's time for me to go to bed. See y'all.